morning. This is Ryan, the seminarian. This July 4th weekend, we are celebrating the birth of our nation and the courage of our founding fathers. Uh, of course, there will be a lot of fireworks going off, especially in Northeast Philadelphia, where I'm from. So it might be harder to sleep in certain neighborhoods, but still, it's a great time to rejoice. Um, and who can forget the courage and the commitment of George Washington and his army when they crossed the Delaware River and into Trenton and waged that surprise attack on the Hessian mercenaries um, with the amazing victory, right? So as you remember, on that Christmas night, there was a terrible winter storm. Like, the river was icy, cold, uh, sleet and snow. It was terrible, right? But yet, Washington was committed to cross. And there were three separate crossings. The first crossing was um, Colonel Catwallader and his force of 1,800 men trying to cross the river into Trenton with no success. And the second crossing was uh, General James Ewing, again, trying to cross the river with no luck. The third crossing was George Washington, General George Washington, and his small force of 2,400 Continental soldiers trying to cross. And yes, they made it. Even though they were like three hours late, still they made it and finally waged a, a victorious um, triumph uh, over the, uh, the Hessian army mercenaries. So I, I do see a little um, parallel here to today's gospel reading in, his, in Jesus' commitment to cross the Sea of Galilee and into the pagan land, the land of Gergasa, where he would convert that, that lost sheep, that, that demon-possessed man. And so as you know, um, they were crossing the Sea of Galilee and they were going through the eye of the storm and the waves were crashing on our side. The disciples were terrified, right? And they had to wake him up. Jesus was asleep. Can you imagine? He was sound asleep. They wake him up and they say, Lord, we are perishing. Save us. Do you not care that we are perishing? So Jesus turned to them and said, Why are you terrified? Oh, you of little faith. So he got up, rebuked the winds, and said, Peace, be still. And there was a great calm. The disciples said, Wow, what sort of man is this that even see and win obey? That man, of course, is our Lord Jesus Christ. So when we encounter the storm of life, the storm of daily life and family drama and problems, we often go to Jesus. We go to church. We go to the tabernacle to wake him up, if you will, to surrender to him and to make him hear our prayers. To, you know, that's what we normally do. But today, let's do something different. Why don't we go to Jesus, surrender before him our problems and our storm of life, but don't wake him up. Instead, fall asleep with Jesus. Because he's born every day on the altar. He's born every day on the holy sacrifice of the mass. So we go to him and we surrender and we sing to him, right? So whenever you take an afternoon nap or um, even before bedtime when you go to sleep, surrender to him, sing to him, and fall asleep with him. So why don't you join me and sing this? Sleep, Jesus, sleep. Sleep, Jesus, sleep. Sleep, Jesus, sleep. We Thank you. 